the Sustainable Living Exhibition, where an excellent, lively and colorful platform is offered to promote green revolution and open the window of opportunities for citizens to take the lead in creating sustainable conditions for all. The exhibition is in 2010. We um, that all of you as exhibitors who are here, as schools that are here, to really help our country, to help our world in preserving, but also in showing sustainable ways of living within our communities. The 2013 Sustainable Living Exhibition was officially opened by a winning municipal deputy mayor, Councillor Nomvuzo Shawala, and the KZN MEC of the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, Ms. Nomisa Dube. At Imagine Deben, we work on strategies to engage the public in creating a more environmentally and socially sustainable municipality. Since the adoption of the public's visioning plan in 2010, our work is to implement these specific areas by coordinating efforts across each sector of our society. That is schools, business, government, civil society and individuals. We're hoping to work with the Human trafficking is happening in our country. We have a tremendous amount of human trafficking taking place in Durban because we are an international site. As I looked at the exhibitions today, I was reminded by a very profound statement made by Chief Seattle to the Native American tribes where he said, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. It is indeed the school going children whom this three day exhibition was designed to capture. Speech contest, team debate and poetry was part of the package for learners to start dialogue when it comes to greening Devon. COP17 was an instrument in promoting green living both in our country and also internationally. It was here in Durban that we collectively arrived at a plan to save the planet by controlling emissions of greenhouse gases. Along with the continuation of the Kyoto Protocol, the plan was hailed globally. We are introducing the Nissan LEAF today to you people. It's the first electric vehicle in South Africa. Fully electric driven, no fuel required, um, with a range of around about 160 kilometers, depending on the speed that you are driving and obviously uh, the, your driving style. <laughs> Abantubazo Sizagala Bagwas, which was all those of Koga, Ingani Tolamato is Ogdala. It was an eye opening experience to see models in their recyclable garments. Can you raise the hands those who have enjoyed? Really enjoyed? Wow. Everybody. One that has touched my heart most is the exhibition about the. the the girls that have been taken and put it in the cage and sold. 
Today we have a stall here at the um, Sustainable Living Exhibition and the main purpose of our stall is to uh, create awareness for human trafficking, around human trafficking. It's a global issue, it's a um, 32 billion dollar industry next to drugs and arms trafficking. Human trafficking is one of the biggest crimes in the world but people don't know about it so this is why we're here, we go out to schools and corporates and malls and tell people about it and so children can better protect themselves and learn about ways in which to keep themselves safe. I've been on the show for four years in a row and this is more than double last year's stands and the public is coming, they've advertised on East Coast Radio as well as posters. We've had a good flow of people all interested in saving the planet and the environment. <laughs> So, no good thing I process and is into like in the shy recycling zone is into as a spawn with as eco is a useful thing. I got is useful. Get interested, Kapura Echalene E. Taylor and Umang Bugal exhibition into Entra Impella and Zagalayo, Esco Cuselayo, or what's Kufanelis Charlie, Sigas Foot Nogayela in nature, Gotanga Jabula, Uma in Asfiga and Shay Colin. The exhibitions been very well advertised, very well supported, we feel, from the public. Um, we've had a lot of interest in, in our stand and we hope it grows from success to success. This was yet another successful event by Etewini Municipality and Imagine Devon team. The award ceremony resumed with certificates awarded to exhibitors in various categories Government, Waste Minimization, Health and Wellness, Energy and Water Conservation, Food Security and Greening, and Social Justice. And our overall winner must be announced by the Deputy Mayor because it's now the highest office in the municipality. The winners for today is indeed human trafficking. Yeah! The trophy made from wire was awarded to Human Trafficking State for being selected as the overall best stand for their interactiveness, knowledge and exhibit. Now with that, we shall all enjoy until sunset. <laughs> <laughs>